Yo, I'm Troy, this is TM Fitness, going to discuss a little bit about body composition for endurance athletes and endurance sports. Um, so all the rules still apply. Uh, the, the laws of thermodynamics still apply to endurance athletes as they do to anyone else. So if you, you're, you're trying to get down to a, a level of leanness to improve your power to weight ratio, you need to be in a calorie deficit just like anyone else uh, it's a very tricky thing to achieve if you have a higher training volume and this is why I wanted to make this uh, quick video just to explain a couple of things so first of all obviously to lose body fat and get down to the level of leanness you're looking for you need to be as I said in a calorie deficit that needs to be over the week over the month as an average and you need to be probably at least around 500 calorie a day deficit. Um, you can do a smaller deficit and and over a longer period of time. Uh, so let's say, for example, you know, 500 calorie a day deficit will see you lose around a pound of fat a week, roughly, not quite, but it's, it's in that ballpark. Uh, remember, body fat and body weight don't always... You know, match up so what the scales say won't necessarily reflect the uh, the, the fat loss uh, for a number of reasons particularly if you're fueling yourself adequately for sport and I'll get into that in a sec as well um, so uh, so if you need to lose a couple of pounds of, of fat you need to be in a 500 uh, calorie deficit uh, for a couple of weeks if you want to lose say six pounds you've got to do that for six weeks or you could be in a thousand calorie deficit and do it in three weeks or you could be in a 250 calorie deficit and do it in 12 weeks um, the bigger deficits are going to really impact on your performance and this is where it gets really tricky uh, because you're you're training hard uh, let's say you're in a, uh, a triathlete and you're doing 12 to 15 hours a week of training you're going to have a high calorie requirement and the problem is, this is where the two goals conflict in, trying to lose body fat and trying to maintain performance uh, um, outcomes is very, very tricky because you need the fuel, you need the calories to fuel your efforts. Uh, and then so your, your training is going to suffer, uh, your recovery is going to suffer. And just generally, you know, if you're tracking things like... Um, you know, things on Strava like uh, KOMs, QOMs, that sort of thing. If you're tracking your heart rate variability, any of that kind of stuff, you're going to notice that, you know, you're not getting the numbers that you want because you're in a calorie deficit. You're not uh, fueled. Uh, now, long term, it's not a good idea to be in a calorie deficit uh, because then you're going to be putting yourself at risk of being... Uh, in a state of low energy availability which could lead to the onset of relative energy deficiency syndrome or REDS. Uh, you need to be consuming around 30 calories per kilogram of lean body mass to avoid REDS uh, and if you're a female that probably needs to be at least 35 if not as high as 45 calories per kilogram of lean uh, body mass uh, to avoid uh, amenorrhea uh, and you know, other symptoms of the female triad so this is why weight loss is not or endurance sport is not great for weight loss because it can kind of fuck you up a little bit and you don't want to be doing that so what I usually say to uh, clients that are trying to lean out a little bit for maybe they've got an event coming up and they want to improve the power to weight ratio is I get them in a, in a smaller calorie deficit 10 or 15 percent of total calories uh, and we do it for a period of time and then in the couple of weeks leading up to the event we have them fully fuel up and then they might uh, cut again uh, for a, a couple of weeks afterwards you have to do it cyclical um, if you're new to endurance sports don't aim for fat loss aim for at least maintenance of you want to be eating to at least maintenance calories probably for the first three to six months until you've really built up that base of, of fitness 
Now, it's also important to understand for body composition, you need to be eating adequate amounts of protein. Even as an endurance athlete, you need to be eating in the range of 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So if you're a 70 kilo athlete, that's around 140 grams of protein a day, which is equivalent to something like three or four chicken breasts. Uh, so you need to understand the composition of foods, which means you need to be getting yourself on MyFitnessPal, tracking your food and paying attention to the details in the app to learn about the composition of the foods that you're eating so that you know what foods are high in carbs, what food are high in protein, what foods are high in fats, uh, making sure you're getting enough fibre. And the only way you're going to do that is by tracking your diet and using an app like MyFitnessPal. You don't have to do it forever. Uh, but it's a good idea to do it at least for a couple of weeks, if not a month or so, until you learn to kind of eyeball your food more effectively. You can also use uh, like a hands uh, for portions template, which I sometimes use. So like a palm of protein, a fist or two fists of carbohydrate foods, thumbs for your fats and oils, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's more of a visual measure, uh, makes a bit more sense to some people. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up because it's going to get long, but... Let's just summarise. So body composition and losing fat for an endurance athlete to increase power to weight ratio. You need to work out the numbers. Yes, it's all about the maths. You need to work out the numbers. You need to work out how much uh, fat you need to lose, uh, how long that's going to take you, how are you going to go about doing it. You need to make sure that you're keeping your protein high and then you probably need to cycle your calories and your carbs around training and around events to make sure that you're adequately fueled for the bigger efforts. Um, but ideally, you will be doing your cut, your, uh, your leaning down, if you like, your dieting prior to uh, you know, any kind of period of, of training towards an event so that you can be properly fueled throughout your training because your training and your nutrition are really important at this point because Otherwise, you're going to be under-recovered. And if you don't want to uh, develop the symptoms of relative energy deficiency syndrome, you need to be eating at least 30 uh, calories per kilogram of lean body mass. This is all very deep and very confusing. If you're an athlete and you don't know how to do this, get yourself a coach. It's simple. We can do the number crunching for you and support you through this. Let me know if that was useful. Leave a comment. Catch you later.